Well, unfortunately, you're correct, Alex. Um, what we have here is Iraq uh, uh, Part Two. Uh, you remember how the uh, what I call the fawning corporate media, how they spun Iraq. So we were all led to believe that there were weapons of mass destruction there and ties between Saddam Hussein and Al Qaeda. None of that was right. And none of the hype that's going on now with respect to the, quote, Iranian nuclear threat, end quote, is right. It's uh, hyperbole to the nth degree, and people in Congress in particular are feeding, uh, having a feeding frenzy on things that they have so warped that the American citizen can't really understand what's going on. Okay. Try to put it in in some context. Okay, do that after we go to break. We're going to come back. I'm going to give you the floor. I want you to break this down because I remember two and a half weeks ago, the Iranians have got all these different sites. They had, the UN admits it can't get uranium above 95% to make weapons. The Iranians announce, here's a new site we've got. And then the media hoaxes it, saying they've got it. It was secret. We found it. Boy, we better attack them. Netanyahu's making secret trips to Russia to get green light. Russia starts saying we support sanctions. What's your intel? Does that mean Russia's going to back an attack? We'll talk about it all with Ray McGovern. Straight ahead. Stay with us. And a kiss and well, we have a former senior CIA analyst, uh, Ray McGovern, whose information has proven over the years to be very, very accurate in hindsight, joining us. Okay, Ray, you were getting into what's really happening with Iran and these sites and what you agreed is a big hoax saying that it was a secret site and they're going to nuke us in 45 minutes, changing the last letter in Iraq uh, <laughs> to Iran. Yeah. Well, you got it, Alex. That's what's going on. It's a type that's really unconscionable. Uh, let me go back a, a little ways here, because uh, after the debacle on Iraq, when my former colleagues were visited uh, several times by the vice president, his name is Cheney, uh, and, and told to write a, uh, write a national intelligence estimate that said uh, Saddam Hussein has all manner of weapons of mass destruction. That was October 1, uh, 2002. Uh, after that happened, um, my former colleagues uh, rose to the occasion and said, no more of that stuff. We're not going to do that anymore. We're going to tell the truth, which reverts back to the kind of atmosphere in which I worked. The only place in town without a political agenda, the only place in town that can tell the president without fear or favor what we really think. Now, to, to make that uh, clear, uh, when people say, well, how come you torture people? There are basically two CIAs, all right? The one that obeys the president's uh, wishes and is able to do that under the National Security Act of 1947, uh, the one that goes off and kidnaps people and tortures people, that's not the CIA. CIA I worked in. I worked in the analysis part and the, and the part of the covert um, agency that collected information, okay? And what I'm talking about now is that CIA. Now, what did we do? Well, we, okay, what did my former colleagues do? Well, uh, what we did, uh, I have to coin a phrase, is in 19, I'm sorry, 2006, we gave Bush and Cheney the finger. Uh, Tom Finger, F-I-N-G-A-R, who was an honest estimator, incredibly bright, came from the State Department and ran an estimate, ran an estimate on, uh, on Iran and its nuclear program, which is a bottom-up estimate. They spent months and months and months relooking at all the previous work, taking into account the most recent information, and they came up with some startling conclusions. Conclusions that were a direct variance with what President and Cheney had been telling the world, okay? Number one, the NIE judged with, quote, high confidence, end quote, that Iran had halted, had stopped a covert nuclear weapons program in the fall of 2003 and had not resumed work on this nuclear weapons aspect of its program. This is an essential part of a nuclear program. They stopped work on it, and the latest briefing of Congress indicates that the CIA believes, and the intelligence community as well, that they did not restart this. So this is a very curious way to be, as uh, Defense Secretary Gates says, hell-bent on developing a nuclear weapon if you stopped, let's see, what's the math here, six years ago, okay? And, sir, didn't they say at the time 
uh, in the in the highly publicized report that if Iran restarted it, it would take nine years. Oh well, they said twenty fifteen or so. Uh, it was a kind of a, a bracketed thing, and it all depended on how quickly they could uh, enrich uranium uh, to the weapons grade, and also uh, what kind of delivery system they could get. Now, no one, no one, uh, from a technical uh, point of view. Uh, said that uh, uh, Iran could be a threat to the United States in any time frame soon. They have no ICBMs. They have no method of delivering uh, a weapon, even if they uh, re restarted their, web their work on weapons. Who, to whom are they a threat? Well, there's one other country in that region who actually has about 200, some people say 300, nuclear weapons deliverable by aircraft, by submarines, by surface ships, uh, by, uh, by missile, and the name of that country is Israel. And no one should shy away from mentioning that, because that is the fly in the ointment. If, uh, if, if there's a country in that region that uh, has, no, has not signed the non-proliferation agreement and uh, has this kind of capability... And uh, the United States shows itself willing to invade a country like Iraq without that capability. Well, if I were an Iranian, you know, I would think long and hard about being able to have the option to have that capability. And so this estimate, this estimate said, we don't know whether the Iranians would, would uh, develop a nuclear weapon, but the evidence is not there. We will know in, in great time, in enough time, to uh, to know and take precautions and get them to negotiate, but Ray, the bottom God line Ray. here is there's there is time to negotiate. Long segment coming up. We'll continue there. Look at the latest hype. Iran announces they've got a facility. The media spins it and says we found a secret facility. We've got to attack. We'll be right back. We're on.